Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and this video has been so requested and today I'm doing a what I eat in a day and this video is focusing on healthy quick to make meals and they're affordable because I'm a dental student and I'm living on loans so I'm not trying to go out for every meal you know I don't even remember the last time I like bought food out because I literally bring my lunch every day. I make it a priority. For people who say that they don't have enough time to make lunch, it literally takes longer to go drive and get lunch somewhere or even go to your cafeteria because I just pop my food in the microwave. It takes two seconds at school and I always make it the night before. I spend about 30 minutes cooking per day. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I do it all at once. I make it super easy for myself. So it's actually the night before right now. So I'm going to show you how I make my breakfast and lunch for tomorrow. And then I'll also show you like which snacks I'm packing and I'll show you like what I actually eat throughout the day and whatnot. But yeah, first I'm gonna start by making my breakfast, which are my overnight protein oats. I eat these every single day and it's a great way to use flavored protein because I used to only ever get vanilla protein because like I wouldn't wanna put any flavors in my smoothies. But when you have really good flavors of protein, you can put them in the oats and it just like totally changes the flavor. So it's like, yeah, I can have protein oats every day, but some days I have blueberry muffins, some days I have cookies and cream, some days I have chocolate. And today I'm going to make my pumpkin pie oats, which I gave these to my boyfriend Ian the other day and he was like, holy crap, like this literally tastes like pumpkin pie. It's so good. So anyway, let's start by making that. Can't promise that the lighting is gonna be good in the kitchen because it is late at night. But yeah, anyways, I'm just showing you how I make it right now and then I'll be eating it tomorrow. But again, I always make my food in advance because ain't nobody got time to pack their lunch and make breakfast in the morning, okay? I literally eat my breakfast either in class or on the way to class, so saves time. Okay, I hope the lighting isn't awful because this is all we got. Okay, so I have all the ingredients for my protein oats here. It's pretty simple. I make them in a mason jar so that I can just like shake it up, put it in the fridge and leave it for the next day. And it's also really easy to like transport to and from class. Obviously we have oats. I just use the old fashioned oats. I wouldn't recommend getting instant oats because they just like, they're, I don't know, they're all broken up oats. They don't really taste very good. I use almond milk. This one just happened to be organic. I don't really usually care about being organic, even though maybe I should. And then this is my like half used like pumpkin. You have to get just pumpkin puree. Like the only ingredient in this is pumpkin. It's not pumpkin pie filling. Don't get that because that has sugar in it and a bunch of other stuff. All I need is plain old pumpkin. I got this at Target. You can literally get it anywhere, any grocery store, Trader Joe's has it. And the main ingredient in this that I think really makes the difference is the level one protein. First of all, I love this protein because it's sustained assimilation way. It's not like the super fast absorbing way. So it's really good for the oats because it'll stay with you for a long time. I can usually eat these around eight o'clock in the morning and I'm not hungry until lunch. Like I don't usually have to have snacks in the morning. Sometimes I'll have some fruit, just like a little mini snack. But when I used to eat like two eggs and some toast in the morning, I used to be starving by lunch. So super important. This really adds a lot of the pumpkin pie flavor, the spice and everything. And I've tried other protein in my oats and it just makes it really grainy and powdery. This, you can honestly barely tell it's there and it's like still super creamy and really thick. So I will be linking this down below and my link gives you free shipping. So if you wanna try it. Also, they have a money back guarantee. So if you don't like the protein, it's no big deal. Like you won't have wasted money on it. Anyways, I'm gonna make my oats and I'm gonna put like the ingredients and the amounts on the screen for you guys and yeah. Okay, my oats are ready to go. This is what they look like. Basically, you just want all of the oats covered by like some liquid. It will thicken up overnight. The protein also makes it like really thick. So yeah, now I'm just gonna pop this in the fridge and make my lunch. Okay, the artificial lighting is just not my friend today. So sorry about the situation, but now I'm going to make my lunch. So for lunch, I've just been having these little burrito bowl things. So I basically have my basic ingredients out. I'm just gonna put them in this little Tupperware and I'm gonna have some rice and I already have some rice all ready to go for my rice cooker. If you eat a lot of rice, 10 out of 10 recommend this. Like it's just so good. And then I'm gonna cook up some lean ground beef. Sometimes I'll put turkey in this, but today I wanted the beef. So 93% lean and I'm going to use just taco seasoning. Taco seasoning is super cheap and it just works on so many things. Like I put it on my chicken, like I put it on everything. So 
taco seasoning. I got some whole black beans. I like whole beans rather than refried just because I think they give a little more structure. And I bought some pico de gallo salsa. So yeah, it was super cheap. And honestly, it's like very low in calories because just like tomatoes and everything, so pretty healthy. Um, not that calories imply health, you know what I mean. Um, and then I'm gonna cut up half an avocado to put on top because I don't have any guac, so that's what we're doing. So I'm gonna pile everything into here and we're gonna cook it up. So I'm gonna start by cooking up the lean ground beef. I don't really need to cook anything else because like the beans are technically already done like and I'm gonna microwave them. So I don't add any oil or anything to my pan because it is non-stick, but yeah, it's just like, and this has some fat to it, so you don't really need any oil, so I don't add it. So here's what I have. I have my little pico de gallo with about half of an avocado. I put this in a separate little container because I don't want to microwave it like along with all that stuff. So this will go in the fridge. And then we have a little bit of rice, some beans. By the way, I do not track my calories. So I honestly don't have no clue how many calories this is. Oh, Peach, hey, it's almost like it's your dinner time. It's not. So yeah my rice and my beans. And then I'll probably put about a third to a quarter of this beef in there. Um, occasionally I weigh it. I usually go for about three to four ounces. Um, usually more on the three side, just because I do have the beans in here too. So that's like another source of protein. It'll also keep me full. So I don't need like a ton of the beef. And then the rest of the beef, I literally just do the exact same thing. So I don't have to cook it up again and use it for the next day's lunch. So it'll probably give me about three to four lunches. Super easy, super quick. I literally only had to cook one time for like four lunches. So I'm gonna pack this all up and then I'm gonna pack some snacks and I will show you guys that. For snacks, I'm gonna pack myself these little grapes and as you can see I just put all of my food for the next day all right next to each other usually on this little quarter of the fridge so I just know this is what I grab in the morning and for my other snack I have a lot of goldfish guys I'm obsessed with goldfish um, I think I'm gonna have one of my little built bars um, it's the peanut butter flavor so I'm probably gonna have this as a snack. I haven't even unpacked my backpack yet, but I'm just gonna put my little built bar in with my other snacks. I also have my little bada beans in here. I often just like have snacks in my bag just in case I get hungry. I'll probably end up packing a little Oreo or two because I just like to have a little something sweet after lunch. So that's it for what I pack for tomorrow. I'll show you throughout the day tomorrow what I actually end up eating. And then I'll show you how I make like one of my normal dinners. Okay, it's the morning and now I just grab all of my food, try not to drop it. Oats just go straight up in my bag because they won't fit in the compartment. I slide it all in. This is my game changer bag, by the way. Literally the best thing that's ever happened in my life. Okay. Wearing makeup to class today because it's Halloween. It's the day before Halloween, but I'm gonna be some kind of like, um, I don't know, 80s workout person because I didn't want to buy anything. So it's about 5.45, I just got back from the gym. No, I don't normally wear makeup to the gym. I don't really normally wear much makeup at all, but it was Halloween today, so I was like in the spirit. And I didn't bring anything to wash my makeup off before I went to the gym, because I just go straight from class, because I like did not want to go at all today, and I knew if I went home, I would have not gone to the gym at all. So I just went straight there. Got a little full body workout in. So yeah, I showed you everything I ate basically, except for I didn't actually end up eating my little built bar for the day. Normally I would eat that around like three o'clock in the afternoon when I kind of get hungry after lunch, but I had so much candy today. I had so many Reese's cups, they're so good. Um, so that's definitely not typical. Normally I would have like a protein bar but instead I had candy, so healthy alternatives. Anyways, I'm probably gonna have some sort of a snack right now, and then I'm probably gonna make dinner in like half hour. I'm not quite ready for dinner yet. Normally I eat around seven, so I'll probably start making my dinner around 6.30, so yeah. So it's about 
it's not 5.15, it's like 7.20, a little later than I was expecting. Ended up having some popcorners, it's a little snack. I love these things, no shame. The other day I had three packs. Um, yeah, they're the best. So, and then I also had um, a few little Oreo thins. I got the family size for myself because I love Oreo thins. And for dinner, I have this little piece of salmon and I literally just put this sauce on it and it's so good. You can get this at any grocery store, but it's just the, like the teriyaki sauce, like the Panda Express one. I thought Panda Express makes great food, so why not buy their sauce? It's great, I literally just put it on, that is the only thing I do. And then I pop it in the oven for about 15 minutes. I'll probably have some rice with it and then I will just make some of this broccoli. I'm just gonna steam it in my little microwave steamer and that will be dinner. I also just realized that I haven't had my greens yet. I take the first form greens and reds. I definitely think the greens like do more for me in terms of digestion. But ever since I started taking these, like my, I have not been bloated like a single time, which is like kind of crazy. At first I thought they were like all hype, but honestly they've helped with my digestion so much. And like, that's definitely something I've struggled with. I don't do well with dairy, but when I've had dairy with these, I'm honestly fine. So kind of crazy. So I'm gonna whip these up and then I'm gonna finish the rest of my dinner. So my salmon was done in around 15 minutes. I just got rice for my rice cooker. By the way, like this is literally rice I made yesterday and it's still like fresh and ready to go for today. Um, and then I just microwave my broccoli in this little steamer guy I got from Amazon. And I'm just gonna throw, ouch, it's hot. A few pieces. No, I should not be using my hands. So this is my dinner. And then I also take my little vitamins. Um, I take fish oils and a probiotic. If you guys wanna know more about which like vitamins I take, I will let you know. Uh, but yeah, so that is everything I eat in a day. I'm gonna finish my dinner and then I'll show you if I eat any dessert later tonight, which like I probably will because I do like every night. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know if you want me to do another one of these. I do have like more recipes to share. And also let me know if you want me to like put my macros and like calorie count throughout the day. Um, cause I don't normally do that, which is why I didn't do it in this video. Cause like I wanted it to be realistic. But if, you th if that would help you guys, I could totally add that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!